In Christian circles, there are many books on leadership, as they should be. I'm not aware of any books on followership. In fact, followership isn't even a word. But for Christians, it ought to be. It's important for Christians both to lead and to follow. And most of us have the privilege of doing both of those, leading in some situations and following in other situations. And both of those are part of the way we image forth Christ, who was the leader with respect to the church and who was the fo follower with respect to his father. So I think it's important for us to keep in mind how vitally significant following is. And so followership ought to become a word in Christian parlance.